Hello everyone. In this video we are going to see one RGBD camera that I recently bought. I just wanted to show you what it can do and uh, some simple instructions for installation and using it. So this uh, camera RGBD which is RGB is for the three standard colors that we have and D for depth, right? So um, you can see here on the right subplots that this is my uh, picture, right, RGBD, and on the left there is depth. And the closer it is to the camera, the hotter it is, the more red it is, and the further back it is more blue. So you see my face is yellow now because I'm kind of mid-distance. Now look, when I get closer to the camera, what happens to my depth? So I get closer, you see, my head gets hotter. Because I'm getting closer and I go further back, right? You see, now I turn into blue or green. So this is what, this is RGBD camera, which is very useful for lots of different applications in artificial intelligence, autonomous systems, and so on. So this is, I would say, one of the cheapest ones that you can find on the market. And uh, this one, let me move this out of the way for a second. This one is called the Mike's Sense uh, A075V RGBD camera and it's only 130 bucks okay so that's probably the cheapest you can find and the good thing is it comes with the tripod right as you can see here uh, if you look over there right this is the camera let me show you right in front of it uh, the only thing I have against it is the fan of it makes a lot of noise, <laughs> but I mean not really deafening noise, but I mean it's too much for this small camera. It makes just too much noise. And uh, so you can see that the camera is working and it comes with USB and it also comes with these four poles wires. So if you want to get RGB and D separately on separate pins, you also have that one on the top of the camera as you can see right over here okay I'm using the USB C mode which is relatively fast and good in mean, like not super fast but it's not too bad so uh, the details of it the specifications of it as you can see here on this one on the right for RGBD it is 1600 by 1200 at 30 frames per second and for the depth one is only 320 by 240 at 60 frames per second and 120 degrees is the field of view for RGBD and for the um, depth one is 55 degrees horizontals and 72 horizontal that should not be right probably one of them is vertical and the pixel size for it is 15 micrometers and then you have the laser transmitter 3 watts right and then this is probably the most important part what range can it detect between basically 15 centimeters to one and a half meters okay this other one on the left which is only the depth it has no RGBD it can go a little bit further but this one is only between 15 centimeters and 10 times more and the accuracy is basically less than or equal one percent so if you are measuring one and a half meters 1% of that is about 15 mil or 1.5 centimeters, okay, 1%, which is not bad. So this is this camera. Now, uh, there are here on the website uh, showcased a bunch of different applications, right? So, of course, see which object is closer, which object is further away, monitor the traffic, use it on uh, a uh, self-driving, I would say, small differential or this is with uh, omnidirectional wheels, robots, to do obstacle avoidance. And then light up the keyboard based on your hand gesture, measuring volume, and lots of other things. Okay, so there are lots of applications. Now, one of the good things about it is if you go and look at it, first thing is uh, you can go, first you have to install it, of course, right? And installation of that basically needs you to go here, right? and download the driver and once you download the driver you have to go under device manager under ports update the driver 
locate where you downloaded the zip folder and find this rndis.inf click on it add it and now it will add this driver to your network drivers usb ethernet rndis gadget okay so if you replug it unplug and replug it after 10 seconds that driver should be added to your network that means your device is ready so now you need to go to this ip address 192.168.233.1 and this is the ip address of your um, camera you see here this is my um, uh, view this is my um, rgbd plus the depth map right so if you want you can turn it on and off right and if you turn it off all you see is a point cloud as you can see here or you can turn it on and basically see both rgbd and the uh, uh, point cloud on the top of each other you can change the color of your point cloud you can use any different uh, color map that you want you can change the distance that it can measure so here i set it from uh, basically 0.2 meters to 0.5 if you want you can go as i said to the maximum of that and remember the minimum of that is this number here so if you want you can change that right and then there are all sorts of other things you can do from as applying filter and so on and then if you want here you can save the point cloud and it is going to save it as this format pcd or you can save the raw data okay which is also going to save it as raw so this is one way that you can do it but uh this is not really you have to save it and then open up another software to read them in and show them the better way to do it is if you go back here and look under the user guide so once you connect it and of course you have to be connected to the uri before you can run the code but once you do that then uh, first of all if you want to do a secure uh, shell client right you can do that okay so it gives you if you want to remotely connect to it with ssh it gives you that if you want to update it it gives you the information for that now the better part that i like is python so it has code for python so if you want to for instance show the real-time video you just download this um, here this stream.py so you go there and then here it gives you this cop this code if you have the required libraries then you can uh, basically copy this into your python and run it the two uh, libraries that is using and you might not necessarily have are these two one of them is called PIL or Pello which is an image processing or imaging basically library the other one is for HTTPs and uh, communicating to this uh, basically address and that is called requests so I had to uh, install those with pip and uh, then you see of course it is using matplotlib to show you those subplots it is using a structure to uh, basically process the data. It uses NumPy for matrices in general and, of course, OpenCV. So you have to have all of those libraries in order to be able to use this code. And I downloaded and installed them. So now this is this code, StreamPy. And when I run it, I am getting this result here. Look so this is me rgbd and this is rgb and this is what this is the depth map and again you see that when i move closer or further away it is changing my depth here now if you want you can put basically a, a bar here on the right side to show the values that you have for the depth because here it is showing just the pixel ticks you can show the x and y ticks which is not really useful if you want you can turn these axes off and show again a legend bar here on the side so you can see what depth corresponds to what number i can add it right now for you if you want and then um, basically you can do anything else that you want to do with this depth map once you have this uh, depth map which exactly matches your rgbd you can just the only difference is you have to pay attention is the scaling okay this is 1200 by 1600 this is a lot less so if we go back and look at the um, website again you can see that the size of the rgbd is quite a bit 
bigger and for that reason as I said you have to pay attention to your scaling okay so if I go back here look again you're going from this size to this size and if you can see it's a factor of five correct it's exactly a factor of five for both of them so if you want to uh, look at one specific location in um, RGBD you have in RGB you have to rescale it down down sample it by factor of five now your RGBD and your depth map are exactly one to one so if you pick specific pixel IJ in RGB that's the same pixel in the depth map okay but pay attention that you need a resize factor of five here otherwise you are not going to get one to one result okay so here I did a little bit uh, improvement on it so you can see that I removed the ticks and I added a um, color bar right so now it is showing the values the only problem is these values are not actually depth values these are just from some min to some max because these depth values are u int 8 so their maximum is 255 not as in reality that they can go up to 1500 mils and their minimum is 150 so now what I did was I also printed the maximum and the minimum of the depth and you see the minimum is like 16 and the maximum is like 255 instead of being 1500 and uh, 150 max and min you see that this is not correct and clearly you see that it is going from all the way blue which is the window behind me or here the ceiling and uh, the uh, here if I even go very close let me just show you the value that it is uh, spitting out right let's see if I can bring it back so you see that the number here uh, barely really changes from 16 it's the minimum and the maximum when I'm looking at the ceiling here it is barely going above 255 okay so these are really my min and max but uh, you see that clearly these numbers should not be those okay so here what we need to do to make it reliable is to do some mapping and we have to max 16 and 255 to those two numbers and then we can uh, read reliable maps so let me go ahead and do that there we go so now I have uh, basically mapped it to 1500 to 20 to um, 150 or 150 to 1500 and now you see that at the window I am at about one and a half meter or it could be more but that is the best I can measure but here uh, at my face it is somewhere like uh, 40 centimeters or something like that and I can say it's relatively accurate so if I now bring my face close to about 30 or 25 centimeters or so you see that the color here is about reddish right so it's not really that bad okay here this back of my uh, laptop that it is taking that is about 15 or 20 centimeters from that so it's not really that bad it's more reliable and all I did was if I show you the code so what I did in the original code first of all there are four subplots I removed two of them because they are not as um, useful here I commented out the part that I found the min and max are 16 and 255 so I got these numbers from those prints my new min and max are 15 and uh, 150 and 1500 now before you can do the um, range change for the variable so I change depth to map depth which is in this range here you have to first change the type of the variable depth because it is u int 8 and u int 8 can never go above 255 I want to go to 1500 so first I change it to float here okay and then I applied my linear transformation so now I use this map depth here right and uh, I guess I should have done a copy here as well 
okay and this one will basically do the job for you and give you what you need to see so let me just run it one more time okay there we go so again this is what I have and it is much more reliable it shows a, a relevant color bar with actual depth values you can add titles to that and I'm going to allow you download this uh, code here right and you can get rid of all of these parts that you don't want or commented to get one functional thing here right but the actual code you can download it from the manufacturers website I just modified it a little bit to make it more useful at least to my own application so hopefully this video was useful to you you learn how to install this simple yet effective RGBD camera how to run a simple um, command with it a simple code basically right and there is more I mean like there is another one that is calculating the volume and so on I'm not gonna show you this one but this code is also available on the manufacturer website feel free to go and play with it and change it to your own application thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video